Okay, so this is a C ring as well. We ready? All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wizzo Talk. Why Wizzo Talk? I'm glad you asked that because I want to know, don't you? Here at Wizzo Talk, we play it like you said, uncut and unedited. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the hot topics yet to come. If you'd like to be on the show, hit me up in the comments. Like to, uh, you have a hot topic you'd like to uh, hear a Wizzo talk about, hit me up in the comments. We'd love to have you on the show. Today's uh, topic is we're going to be talking with a pure romance consultant. Before we go any further, here on Wizzo Talk, all my guests do their own intro, share whatever it is they like for you to know, and then we're going to come back and we're going to get it rolling. All right, everybody. My name is Andrea Moore. I am a pure romance consultant, and I've been doing this for three years currently. Um, one thing about pure romance, we're not here to yuck anybody's young, but we are here to educate, empower women about their sexual health and wellness. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Brandy. I am a pure romance customer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been a customer for a while now, so it's just fitting that I come on this show. Hello, everyone. My name is Joshua, a.k.a. Seven Points of Bliss, and I'm just here to, to learn some things today. All right. I want to welcome everybody on the show. <coughs> it is so hard, as I've said before, to get females on the show, so I am glad to have you here, and I'm glad you also reached out to me to uh, want to come on and do this show. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to read off of just a couple of my Google searches for the people that think Google knows everything. After that, we're going to come on and we're going to let you go on and educate us, and we'll have some questions along the way. We're just going to make it do what it do. So this is something that I asked Google. What do a pure, pure romance consultant do? According to Google, help other women take control of their sexual and wellness through fun, educational experience, that open them up to a new world of possibilities. Google also tells me that men are not allowed but should encourage their female significant other to attend. So that's just a couple of my little questions right there to get started off and take us away and educate us on this pure romance. <laughs> so just like he said, you know, pure romance, it is, we, we want to provide a safe environment for women. You know, there's a lot of stories out there, and sometimes that's intimidating, right? You know, you're walking mm -hmm. in there, and there's a lot of people creeping around. So we give them a safe environment. We do have fun. We play games. We do educate them. And I normally would demonstrate products with the ladies. So today I do have some here on the table that they can pick up and they can, you know, experience themselves and understand that we have different types of products. Um, sexual uh, toys in the bedroom, as you stated, they don't always have to be intimidating. So sometimes it's hard to introduce that into the bedroom. Right. You know, how many times the men, they don't like, I don't want no toys. We don't need that, right? Right. Sometimes you can treat the toys kind of like your tag team partner. Don't I let them, they're not there to replace you. Right. They're just there to enhance the experience, correct? Right, correct, right. correct. <clears throat> right. And just to touch base on that right there, <clears throat> or maybe not on that, could you tell me about this? What no. are these? So those are in good hand gloves. So our skin is one of our largest erogenous zones. Okay. So that you have it's, the whole body is covered in skin. So it sends all those messages to your brain, okay. right? So you noticed all of the different textures that are on there. Right. So these gloves are good for shower. You can get your you know a massage while you're doing your shower, and a lot of times. The intimacy starts with a good massage, right? Right, right. So if you okay. suck a massage, these gloves will be great to introduce the touch and the feel that you mm -hmm. want to give your intimacy uh, partner. You know, a nice massage. I suck at massages. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And those gloves, are, those gloves are good from head to toe. So, okay. you know, the, you notice that they have different textures on, on both sides of the glove. Right. And the thing about um, even replacing your loofah in the, in the shower, you can't clean that loofah, but you can clean those gloves. Right, right. Okay, okay. Well, I like so. Is this something that you put lube on when you 
massaging. <laughs> so okay. with these gloves. Right <laughs> <on my arm. laughs> so <laughs> with these subjects you know, yes. yeah. Normally you would use one of our massage oils. We oh, do okay. have different massage oils okay. like Need Me and then we have um, the Hello Libido infused massage oil. So just like um, if somebody has low libido, it has that libido enhancer in their massage oil. Kind of help increase the, you know, mood. Okay. Now, what is, what is that one that Brandy asked about a while ago? Good head? <laughs> what, what was that? So, great head. Great head. Okay, I, I couldn't remember. Absolutely. Good head, great head. Let's just hey. jump right great into head. it. Great head. So, let's jump great into head. it. Okay. Right? Yes, yes. So, you know, we don't want the ladies hacking while they're snacking. Right. So, we have great head. Now, it's not one of those products that's going to numb anything. We don't want you to be numb. You right. need to feel. But what it does is it relaxes that no, no. Right, right. <laughs> the uvula okay. that's in your throat, the gag reflex. Okay. And so that, that way they can go from top to bottom possibly. Oh, okay. You got, you got any input on that top to bottom? Just <laughs> feeling the conversation. <laughs> 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 I mean, so, it's just going to help relax that gag reflex. Because some right. people's gag reflex is so sensitive, it's hard to brush your teeth. Right. Yes. Right. You know, so you can yes. use this more than just with your sexual, you know, it, uh, experiences. Right. So, like, if you are that sensitive, maybe you want to use that for that time, right. you know. And it okay. just takes a little bit of that. You, they swallow it as flavored. We do have a lot they of... They swallow what? The great head. The great oh. Head. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> they, <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. They swallowed it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, so a little lesson. Here's, okay, here's okay, a lesson, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay? So you take the great head great and you head. put it you put it on the tip of the penis. Okay. 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 That's how I do it. I don't know about right. nobody else. Okay. But you put it on the tip of the penis. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. And then yeah. once you put the penis into your mouth, as far as you can. Right. Then you know once it it gets comfortable, relaxing, and it works. Okay. Absolutely. So it, it just it works. It tastes like a small drop. You put it on the tip of your tongue, or the, like she said, she want to go for the best. Go for the tip of the penis. We going like we tell people, nobody goes to the ice cream store and say, I want some penis flavored ice cream. Right. So <clears throat> instead of getting skin flavor, you got strawberry. Yes. Right. All right. right. Okay. 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 Well. Last okay. time I had it, it was lemon. It was lemon. I'm a lemon like person. You had the lem strawberry That's lemonade. My favorite. Mm -hmm. oh. That's my favorite. So you had the lemon head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, okay. It works. It works. It works. That's all I can okay. say. Okay, lemon head works. Watermelon mm -hmm. head. Yeah. And so this is another little, uh, it looked like he may go here. Mm -hmm. uh, how is this here? So that one can be used multiple ways. That's our, um, uh, I don't forget the name, Dick. but um, I want to say come together, but this is come together. Okay. Um, made for two, sorry. Made for so two. So this is made for two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one right here, it is one of our constriction rings, or you can use it as a hand device. So you can put those rings over your hand, over your hand. so that it cuffs right here in the palm of your hand. Okay. So that you can get clitoral stimulation. So that if you want to turn it on, the the motion is comes from oh, the okay. um. Mm -hmm. so okay. It, yeah, it will. It, it'll go away. Yes. Oh, I'm sure to go so around. Go I see what, yeah, yeah, show me her. She got you. She, oh, uh, oh, yeah, okay. I got you. You can put the two hands, you can yeah. put two uh, two bands around your fingers, and right. the rest is at your wrist. Oh. And that way you can, you can palm it, mm. or you can use it for a C-ring. And so that way you can be what is called your human vibrator. Right. So now you'll be able to be stimulated. Oh. She's stimulated. Oh, Everybody's. Yes, no sound to it. Absolutely. Yeah. So we have a lot of toys that they're they're trying to decrease the noise. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you Make notice that they are silent. Right. 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 Yeah. And you know when we was talking just a few minutes ago about so it won't go off in the airport because That's right. we were coming through the airport, me and my fiance, and I hit the button on mine, and next thing you know you hear bang, that to go down. Yeah. And she's like, is that that? I'm like, yeah, it's shit. Why do you get in and cut it off? <laughs> but I was like, damn, you know. So we do have lots of taking it on vacation, yeah. ma'am. So you have to press and hold. You notice you had to press and hold. Right, yeah. yeah. And I see I see it's taking care of the men in the boat, so to speak. Absolutely. Or whatever. Yeah, That's I'm right. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another way forward. That's what we say. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. But now, we talked about how do we get the men not to feel so intimidated anybody thoughts as to not because 
as I said in one of my other ones, um, uh, a cousin of mine, or you know, was handling his business with his wife, whatever. He goes over and go to sleep. Next day, he know he hears because right. she didn't finish, but he did. And so how do we get any thoughts on how do we get more men to come in to say, hey, it's nothing wrong with it. It's not replacing you. Absolutely. But some women, some men don't even know where the G-spot's at. Well, it's not just about the G-spot. Right, okay. So the clitoris has <coughs> the majority of a female sexual nerves. Okay. So it has eight to 10,000 nerve endings in the clitoris. So if majority of the penetration is inside, her clitoris is being ignored. Therefore, she's not getting any stimulation. Right. So that's how the tip of your, your penis is very sensitive, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. It's almost the same sensation. But you're getting stimulated, she's not. Exactly. Because okay. you're thinking that you're only focusing on the G spot. Well the clitoris is just part of the um the um G kind of like the G spot <coughs> complex. It's a complex of um I wish I had my model. <coughs> but the clitoris is not just that portion that you see on the outside. Okay. It actually has legs and granules in the inside. The clitoris has legs, mm -hmm. so it can walk it, away? No, it's, it extends out. Okay. So, okay. like, this would be okay. your clitoris. This would be the tip that you naturally see. Right. And there's legs that go down behind the labia. Okay. And then there's granules. So that's the reason why when you are stimulating the G-spot, you're actually increasing it from one position of the clitoris. But there, the tip right here mm -hmm. is what has the majority of it. So that's where we need to be at. You need to focus on that. Eighty-five percent of women have not had an orgasm. I, I read that, but but still, how do we get the men to know that it's nothing wrong with it? I mean, it's you know, how do we get the men or any thoughts, Josh? How do we get I the men there? First, to, to, they need to understand that pound town ain't the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 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 That, and once, communication. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Because yeah, once you, once you understand, get definitely. them to understand, like, hey. Not all about right. Then, mm -hmm. then we actually get into, you know, this is what I like. Right. This is how we do it. You know, a little right. bit softer here, a little bit harder there. Um, but sometimes people are well. I'm not gonna say men, but couples are afraid to communicate what they do like right. and what they don't like because okay. it's like. I don't want you to feel a certain type of way if I tell you I don't like that. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all about being comfortable in that sexual conversation. Okay. So do you all know what the, a woman's largest sexual organ is? No, tell me. It's her brain. Mm. So our stimulation does not start when you turn the lights off. Okay. It's good to stimulate your woman or your partner all day long. Give her a nice text. Setting the mood with music, things like that. So we're stimulated here. That's the reason why, you know, for you all, the wind can blow. Right. And y'all ready. <laughs> right. Right. Please, Josh, oh, yeah. 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 Right. Josh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> women, women are more like, well, we always tell the ladies, women are more like crock pots, men are microwaves. Right. Right. So we got a little bit more stimulation we needed. So you got to start cranking that thing up. All day long. Send her a message. You know, let her know that you're feeling. They feel they feel a certain way about themselves also in the head when you you know do that. Right. So a lot of that starts that stimulation. So now right. she getting in the mood, and then it's like especially like when you got date night, you like girl be ready to settle. Right. All right. So her head already in the game. Right. Yes. Right. You know what okay. I'm saying? Yes. It's all throughout. It's the all day. in play. Right. So it's kind of like stimulate her <clears throat> mind as well. Don't just think about stimulating. That vaginal canal. Right. We have a whole lot. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I got it. And then uh, if I can pick up this, <laughs> I thought this was like a pinball, a ping pong thing. Or, I mean, what? What? See, it's not intimidating. Either. Oh, not to me. Because I, I have a, a supply. I got a black bag. <laughs> I mean, you know, because I I like to experiment with different things, but. So this right here. Oh, sucky. That one right there, we, we introduced that one for massage. Okay. You know, but massage. as we say, it could go anywhere. It could go anywhere. It's a ball. It could roll around. Right. Anywhere it want to go. Right? Right. But, and that one might be a little bit noisier. Violent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She's but, a noisy. No, violent. But noisier. Right. But if, if you notice the difference between the other one that you had. Right. It, and, and it's been in my bag. Oh, okay. it's been to a few <clears throat> demos right so 
But um, no, I don't use on anybody. Okay, I'm going to say. I was like, let me put that there. Hand sanitizer. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. No, not at all. So, like, for people who have sciatica and uh, plantar fasciitis, mm. that would be a good toy to introduce because, I mean, they could use it for pain in their neck or anything right, like that. Right. But then, they, like I said, it can roll anywhere you need to take it. Right. So if you have a, uh, uh, you guys have uh, different parties and all. So if you wind up having a, a female that hasn't, she's the first time there, and she tells you, Andrew, you know, I'm just not pleased with my sex life with my partner, or whatever, and he don't want to use any toys on me, but I need a little bit extra. I mean, how, what do we say to some female like that that's, she's not, you know, not happy with her sex life at the house? You know, he may be. Too big, he may be too small. He, she just needs some extra. So, what are we going to tell her or show her? Or what can we talk to her about? We do have like if, like if he's too big, you know, we do have a product called Get a Grip, okay. and it used to be called a uh, hand job, but that's an open-ended sleeve. And you've seen like the movie maybe uh, Girls Trip when they use the grapefruit. You know, okay, yeah. You know, <laughs> using it for a buffer. Well, this is kind of like the same thing, so okay. that helps help her get a buffer and he still gets stimulation okay. on that portion that doesn't get contact with her. Right. 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 Okay. Um, when it comes to only your sexual wellness too, you know, masturbation is one of the words that people shun. That's taboo. You know, taboo. Yeah. The whole female really? sex really the sexual conversation is almost it's taboo. taboo. Yeah, and then right. when you get into the female uh, conversation of owning her sexuality, I mean there are even cultures who used to Eliminate a woman's mm -hmm. pleasure because mm -hmm. a clitoris only has one function mm -hmm. pleasure doesn't do anything in the reproduction <clears throat> It's only for pleasure. So there were cultures who would mutilate it so that she could not have pleasure so mm. That that is how far we've come in right. women's sexuality, right? right? Um, so some women have never found their g-spot mm -hmm. they um, really didn't know that not having those orgasms because a lot of times they didn't express that they wasn't having one, right? Because they want to make sure that their partner is happy, yeah. right? Yeah. But meanwhile, they sitting here excluded from the fun. Right, right, right. <laughs> they, right. It's fun, but right. you know, yeah. you better if you could have yeah. what right. you get. Exactly. You know? True. You're kind of selfish over here. So. <laughs> yeah, selfish. What, what are you talking about? So you just go ahead. We'll see. Like, I'm. I'm gonna need to get mine. Right. Okay. Um. And I, w I really want us to get ours together. Right. However, um, if you get yours and I don't get mine, then when you roll over, I'm going to get mine. Right. You know, right. Okay. Um, because <clears throat> like, like she said, you know, a lot of, a lot of women, you know, don't talk about it or they don't express it. Um, and I used to be like that. Like, okay. Mm, okay. Right. I'm glad I'm gonna go to sleep. Right. Even I'm on ten right, right now. Yeah. And I'm still gonna go to sleep. Okay. Yeah. And so now well, in order for me to go to sleep, I need to be on like four. Right. Five. Mm -hmm. right. So, <laughs> right. 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 So, so I need to make sure that, that, that happens. Um, so hey. Right. Gotta, but there's a lot of people who've been married for years and yes. have not owned that conversation. Yeah. Right. right. So they just like look he had me. Okay, we right. good. So and how, really, they're right. not good. So how do we yeah. start that conversation up? As the, I know, we always talk about communication. You think that conversation don't come up because of fear or whatever? She just want to make sure he happy, he got it. And boom, I just do it without. You know, because a lot of times, you know, women have went without because so the man can go ahead and think he really didn't done something. He hadn't really satisfied her at all. He just went over there like you said and hit and he went to sleep. So how do we, you know, what, what is that? Not how do we get that conversation to come up? Well, I would no. say um, the conversation shouldn't start right after that happened per se. Sometimes right. find a yeah. find a better occasion right. to open that door. Um, possibly, you know, at dinner time, right mm -hmm. before. Like we even have a remote. We have a remote, remote control toy, butterfly effect, mm -hmm. and we always suggest, ladies, this will be a good toy. Hand him the remote in a box. He mm -hmm. gonna be like, "What are you doing? What is right. that? I don't right. know what that is." And when you can introduce it by saying that is the remote control to the vibrator that is in my pants right now. You know what I'm saying? And that box. And that box. 
it's in there right it's, now. It's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, that makes it fun. Right. So that's a good way to make it fun. But, um, you know, the main thing is finding the safe way to make it, you know, knowing that you're not coming at them like, ah, mm-hmm, right. I don't like you because you didn't do this. Right. No, this is what I want you to understand. You can have your pleasure. I want to own my pleasure. Right. And I'm not saying you're not good. But what I do need is you to pay attention to some extra things. That's right. just for me. Make sure that we are right. both good. Right. You know? Right. Well, I, my question is, why is it that, like, men would think that they're not good because we want to introduce a mm-hmm. toy into the bedroom? I think it's because so much pride goes into, like, a man's sexual like energy you know what i'm saying so much that's like our masculinity as we see it as that and it shouldn't be that but it really is and um a lot of men are typically like very selfish because you know what i'm saying like men don't think about what's going to please their partner they just think about what's going to please them it's very rare that you find that you know what i'm saying feminine aspect in them as a giver as wanting to be a giver you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. right. Right. i've also right. found too i'm sorry no go ahead uh-uh. I found that a lot of times, so you you have a guy who thinks they know. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm gonna do to make mm-hmm. you do mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? She don't even know. Yeah. Oh right. my God. She, yeah. she just found yeah. out. Yeah. She just yeah. found out yeah. what spot is. So right. how did you know? Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing I have learned, and I I have conversation on both sides of the table, but you have one partner. And that relationship ends, and then you have a new partner. Well, guess what? What works at this partner does not yeah, work at this partner. But it worked good for that one. Right. So now you want to bring old tricks to the new side, mm-hmm. and it, it don't always happen. Right, right. You right. know, so you have to find out what exactly works for this right. person. Right. You know. And I, I think that some guys uh, may be looking at it the wrong way as far as uh, being intimidated by because if you go to the toy store with your significant other partner or whatever and or look at online if he's only a seven you shouldn't look at a 15. but that's not where it needs to be at anyway because we was just talking about the men in boat and i always say clitoris wrong or right. clit wrong i don't know which right. one it's well, i know where it's at <laughs> I know I, but so you know i think some of the guys really don't know what's all out there and even like um this one and I'm assuming this goes around him. Right. Mm-hmm. And this is when you go on and lean up on her and then right. she get that clitoris or clit. Mm-hmm. I always fuck that up. It's stimulated, so and he probably say that ain't gonna grow around me, but hell this one just went around my wrist and if he, you really you know. wanna be fun, flip it upside down. Put it on you and flip it upside down. Ah, so that's yeah. why it's on that vein right there too. So, so oh, you know, hey. look at here. So, <laughs> they don't know about that. It's a lot of you. Don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know about that. It's a lot. She is so. But you can have fun. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's both of y'all. Yes. And so, boy, I'm y'all say, saying. guys, I'm telling y'all, y'all, look, go. Quit thinking about cause you sitting over there with a twelve inch dick or some shit or whatever, whatever. Cause she would be happy with that seven. If you put this right here on and work up, both of y'all gonna hit that thing at the same what time. What you say on that movie? Yeah. Woo! Head blow oh, oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get that shit. I'm telling you. And and this one right here, I saw it moving and licking. So I guess like say for instance, if he go ahead on and uh uh and another before I get on that. Toys, I guess if I can just go and say toys, they may be called something else. What do we call them? Oh, they can be called under, they, sometimes they just go up under novelty product. Novelty product. Because of the way that mm-hmm. the right. industry yeah, okay. didn't want to be labeled right. that way. I don't want them to think that I'm talking about going to toys or us. Right. So when I keep saying toys. But, guys, when you get to using these toys and different gadgets, and so to speak, it's another way to get your mouth a break. Mm. Because you down there and you licking <laughs> and sucking and going on. And sometimes you just need to take uh, a damn break. And these right here, and then I'm going to tell you another good thing about it is, is if you controlling it. Oh, <laughs> look at here. Hey. So, <laughs> whoa, watch out there. Hey. So, Honestly, that is a good when, way yeah. to yes. get yeah. the female partner off in a very good way. Yes. Off to a very nice night. Yes. Because, like I said, our largest sexual organ is our brain. Right. We're thinking about the bills. We're yeah. thinking about the mm-hmm. kids. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. thinking about 
Who did the laundry? Oh yeah. man, damn, yeah. I'm gonna have to wash this sheets when yeah. I get through too if you do the right thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. So <clears throat> if we could take our hands off. Yes. And we ain't gotta think about what we holding it. Yes. And when we about to drop it, because yeah. it's almost there. Yeah. If you holding it and she ain't got to hold it, well, guess what? She can completely. But you know what I'm going to tell her, though? I'm going to say, when I know, when you put this on her and you find the right spot, I know that her body changes. Mm, and her really? reaction yeah. Yeah. Her yes. Yes. changes. Yes. And then, so what I'm saying is, how I felt that right <laughs> <laughs> I got it now. And so I'm going to hold it right now. And I'm gonna hold it. It's a soul right there. Yeah, yeah. Hold, and it. hold it. Yeah. Now hold it. Yeah. And I'm gonna hold it right there. And then while I'm doing that holding, it, I'm gonna say, "Don't you come? Don't you hold that motherfucker too? Don't you let go?" And then I'm gonna just uh, if it got another uh, level to it. Then that's when I'm hit the next level. Yeah, so you so I'm not sure that I ever wanted to be privy to your bedroom action. <laughs> okay. I'm just but saying. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, and then, on another oh thing, oh I mean, this is something, and, you know, because I've, I've done some research and stuff like that, because I like to please my partner that I'm with, you know, and make sure, but coming up, you know, because, like I said once before, none of us have read the book on how to please one another. Mm -hmm. You just was coming up, you saw the hole, you jumped in it. That's why she never knew if she had a or uh, orgasm, whatever, but you can always tell when he did because he's going to leave that slime in that mouth. And a lot of times <laughs> so, they didn't yeah. see the hole. They just jumped in the hole. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Right. Hold on. So we got to get in there. So we have to get them and open them up. I mean, this is a new day, a new time. Yeah. And we have to start making sure that our female partner is pleased. I mean, this is another way to go on and make the marriage lasts longer, the relationship lasts longer. Because once she's getting nervous, and, and, too, and you get, you don't want to just be the only one getting it, and she laying over there looking at you like, well, hell. Or well, she wants to experience that because I tell you another one of these things, too, and I may say it wrong, I don't know, but it'll, it'll make them blow the gasket. You think they've been impeded on you, that thing is yeah. so damn high from that pressure and that. Would you like to add to that? No, I do not like to add to that. <laughs> you sure? Because I thought you were going to add to that. I was not, I was not going to add well, to that. Well, you that desk on there, so I mean, I didn't know. You were going to add to it. Now. Okay, so. Okay, tell me I what you I have you never oh. done that before. Okay. Okay. And until. Uh, not until. Oh, okay. Like, I still haven't. <clears throat> okay. I, maybe the mind and vaginal connection is not mm -hmm. there yet. Right. And I've been told you just have to relax. Is that right? So that's no. like what I just oh. said. <laughs> yes. I relax. No, you have to shut it off. Oh, okay. So, okay. I mean, that's like what I was saying about when they control those toys and things like that, it helps you to release the control. Right. Stop thinking. Right. Don't so what we're about, saying is ahead. that everybody has the ability mm, to mm. squirt right. as long as the thinking is shut off. Okay. That's so, what we're saying. <clears throat> orgasms are almost like memory foam. Mm -hmm. You ain't never learned how to do it. It don't that muscles though that connection does not know how to do it. Right. When you learn how to do it, you gonna do it. Right. Because then you're going to be like, oh, I know exactly where I'm supposed to do right now. Bam, I'm out of there. And I'm telling you, that mind control mm -hmm. is definitely a big factor, especially for women. Right. Mm -hmm. Because of the fact that it takes that much, you know, to get us in the right place. Right. Um, so I just, I'm talking about disappearing. Almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's almost like once it, once those eyes roll in the back of the head, you know her mind is in another right. place, her body is in control. Right. Uh -huh. And it's it's almost like Jodice said, Don't talk, just listen. Just listen, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Listen to your body. It's that body language that is body language. precious. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And another thing I add, a lot of people believe that they do not need a lubricant. Mm. So you all have samples in your mm -hmm. bag. Right, right. That sample is very important. Okay. Because we have different types of lubricants. Right. All of our lubricants are kissable. 
and edible, edible. and suckable and all good that. Head and all that. So, <clears throat> like you have, just like me, just like me as a water Lizzo, let me tell you, when you experience the great head, right here, you'll understand. You will understand. <laughs> okay. You're just going to keep your own bottle, okay? <laughs> she got keep me, your she own got bottle me in your right. drawer, great all right? Head. I'm so, telling you. Yeah. Right here you have your just like me. That's the right. water based. Just like me, water based. All yeah. right. So that is made just like a woman is pure balanced for us. But what women don't understand is anything larger than a finger going into our vagina can cause microscopic tearing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which in time will make you lose sensitivity. We don't need to lose no nerves. Right. We need to feel it all. We yes. definitely need And to even though yes. you have moisture, a penis is porous oh. and it can absorb our you know, right. really, yeah, so if you notice. really, um, and also women's moisture can be changed. So, do either one of y'all have sinus issues? No, uh, no. some depends on time of the year. Yeah. You have sinus issues, yeah. yes. <laughs> you take medication for your sinuses? No, if you ever do, mm -hmm. that medication does not know to stop at your nose, it is going to drive all mucus membranes mm -hmm. to your vagina. Everybody's a mucus membrane is going to dry it up. So, then you over here wondering what's happening. Mm. Baby, you don't need Sudafed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it for you. Okay. No, it's going to dry it's it up. It's going to dry it up. Oh, dang it. it. But you're going to need your lubrication. Right. Age, aging can change a woman's lubrication. Her hormones, mental status, right. you know, mm. all of these things can play into her uh, lubrication, you know. So using just like me, and pl trust me, you'll see a difference. Right. Because it has a rewetting agent. So she's good for 12 hours. Okay. Yeah. Now sensations. Is amazing. Sensations right there. That is a warming lubricant, mm -hmm. and it's flavored. This one is cotton candy that y'all yeah. have. Uh -huh. um, so when you rub or blow, that one right there is going to give you a little stimulation sensation, right? Mm -hmm. And then I whipped is our cream lubricant, especially needed for like the C rings because of the fact that Please, yeah. the penis is porous. It doesn't absorb the creams right. like it does something that's water-based. Mm -hmm. And so you would want to use whipped for like when you're using the C-ring or some of the other toys right. that we have on our line. And it's flavored. There's vanilla cupcake. We do have like sherbet. We have um, okay. uh, maple sugar. You know, we got different flavors. Right. And there's no sugar in it. So that's what's the, the good part for the female side. So the mm -hmm. sugars are not good for your vagina. Right. Okay. Why do men always want to put the food near the vagina? Like, put the food like a poke chop? I mean, <laughs> I mean, well, I've seen something like that on TV. Let's get some, let's get some whipped cream. No, oh, we yeah, are not oh. whipped cream in it. We not. Oh. Why we want to do that? That it's is a little. It's yeah. what? It's a little they weird. They're just going for fun. You know, mm -mm. you see the stuff on, on TV. On they, TV. I, they, I need they, for they them they to stop watching TV. Yeah, type yeah, thing. Sure. No. no. Maybe that's why they call it a charcuterie. No, just like mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You know that's my most I favorite know, board like, ever, right? Uh, okay. Oh, it's a charcuterie. No, it's a charcuterie. No, no, okay. I'm it's like cheese. It's, it's, it's like the cheese. Cheese and, and like that, but people fruit fruit messing it up. They yeah. say a charcuterie board. A charcuterie board. Oh, okay. So maybe that's where they got that from. Right. And just over in your bag, I see some lipstick. Is that something that you put on you or him? Or, no, or that's just for her. Oh, that's just for her. What is this? So that's lipstick. You see oh, what it is? Please, oh, that's a penis. You a always have a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure you always have a pee-pee in your yeah. bag. Oh, yeah. okay. So you can rub that dick across your lips. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I'm for it. I'm for it. I'm for it. It's okay. very moisturizing. So like that's just it. a little sample. I made sure that y'all have a little sample to go home with. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. beautiful. So I had it in my notes, but I think I know why, because I said, so tell me why I should have my significant other attend one of these parties and look like I need to try to invite her to have one of these to, oh, to come to one of them yeah. because it seems like y'all will be coming getting down and she probably come up out of there horn as hell too. So. Absolutely. We have a lot and of things. Yeah. That are, and we do have a lot of products that are pheromone based uh, mm -hmm. infused. Mm -hmm. So you know for how pheromones work. They increase that attraction. Mm -hmm. We already do it, but we have products that enhance it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's uh, amazing. And so, don't have people chasing it. In this book, right, there is on page, um, so I can get everybody on the same page, page well, 19. They don't have a page, but, right. but, but you got, got, oh, you, got oh, you need to look on page 19? Right? Okay, okay, so on page 19, there 19. is something called basic instinct. Absolutely. Let me tell you. 
Okay. Okay. It takes okay. on it takes on the scent of the natural scent of your oh. woman. Mm. Okay. okay. So it's not gonna smell the same on Andrea that right. it smells as me. Right. right. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you will try to hunt for that scent all the time. Okay. Okay. This is everything. So I oh. I left that in the car. But okay. Naturally, it is everything. It enhances her perfume, mm -hmm. just like how when you wear perfume and you wear, oh, I mean, oh, cologne. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was, I got yeah, you, I got yeah, you. Yeah, 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 your cologne, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's going to enhance it because it doesn't smell the same on every person. Now, even yeah. if when you buy a bottle, you can wear it and it ain't going to smell the same. Right. But that it's not going to clash with what you're wearing. I mean, you could actually put basic instinct on yourself. Yeah. Right? It's, it's not just for females. Right. But what it is is going to enhance your pheromones is okay. going to be emitted. Um, she will put that on her, everywhere we have a pulse point. Okay. So like here at your wrist, your decolletage, right here at the nape of your neck, we have a main vein that comes up before our belly button. Mm -hmm. right. And don't forget about behind the knees. Right, yes. over there. Well, two things. First, you just said something about a decolletage, and I thought, is that like the same thing as where you put a dick? I mean, a work, I, mean I, I don't know. What, I thought that was cleavage, so I'm trying to figure out what, what is that? That's what they call this error. Right in here. It's called the dick to dick to talk. Dick to talk. Dick to talk. Dick to talk. I'm trying to see you. That's why the guy we be trying to put it between the titties and my Titty bag. He wants the titty bag. Okay, so it's called a dick to talk. No. Okay, I had to know. I don't, I don't know oh I'm going to add. Well, I think now I'm finding where these things come from. Exactly, okay. So, so on this basic instinct, is that, I heard, is that something I put on me so I can you keep can the scent, or is that something she put on? I mean, it's tell an me, attractant. It's an attractant. Yeah. So I know you were saying I'll be searching for that scent, so is that something that she put on and then it had me hunting her down because, I mean, or what? I don't understand. So the yeah. truth is, Okay, you naturally see a dog sniff another dog's behind. Right. Yes. That's mm -hmm. what they're doing. They're sniffing those pheromones when they when they mark a tree. That pheromone is emitted. That's what they're they hear. They okay. see. We naturally do it. We just don't walk around sniffing each other like that. So. Okay. He didn't sniff you a couple of times. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. Okay. No, I'm just okay. basic because I do have my. I mean, the thing about it is, though, you know, we naturally, like, when you walk in a room, it's, it's like something feel funny about that mm -hmm, room. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. Somebody mm -hmm. got some bad vibes up in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or whatever. You feeling those vibes. When you go in a room, you're like, dang, I, I'm kind of cool with this. The vibe right. is good. Mm -hmm. That's basically you reacting to the, all the pheromones and things. Right, like in right. The area. Okay. So that's it's kind of like it's good. So that's one of the little tricks that a trade that she can use to go ahead yes. on in. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, while I go ahead and smell different on, who, uh, on well, the, you know. If she got it on, you wonder why you extra attracted to her today. Right, right. You know, you like, what? what you know, that's my girl, but uh, what? where are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let me ask you about the, the, the uh, we talked about the one where the guy can have the, she can give it to him and he can have the remote control himself. And she has the other one in her panties. So what's the range? Can she be like at work and I'm at my job and I'll be cutting the button on? To have her squinging in the disc or something? Or, um, or what's the range on something like that? On the ones that we have, we don't have, we're working on, I think they're working on a couple of those type of products. Right. That are like where you can do it through your phone. Oh, um, well, yeah. Be, okay. be careful with some of them because um, I, I can't talk about other companies. Right. But, you know how people can hack into a lot of stuff. Right, So right. That's, mm -hmm. that's the main reason why some stuff we haven't offered probably right. is because they like to focus on very much on the quality of our products. Right. So like I said, when you go to other places and you getting stuff, I can't guarantee you that they are made of the same quality. They it, All tours are not the like. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. See that. Yeah, I mean, definitely, yeah. Um, these are made with food grade silicone, <clears throat> so you don't use any soap. Like soap, we do have a cleanser that are made for these ah. to be clean, so that it doesn't break down your toy when you want to protect your investment. Um, but the one thing that I would say, um, when it comes to, I almost lost my train of thought. Right. When it comes to, um, you know, what we ha have and offer, everything that we have <clears throat> is all about the quality. Mm -hmm. So the butterfly effect, that range is about, I want to say, I think it's. 
32. Like, they could be in the driveway. Right. Of course, we always say, you know, replace your remote control. Yeah. And then, you know, use the remote in the car instead mm -hmm. of your garage. Right, right, right. Like, right. click. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. you yeah. on now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, it's, it's I, I don't forget the range. Don't get me wrong. Right, right. right. That's okay. I That's suffer okay. from not knowing yeah. all of the exacts. Right. So, I'm looking at... Oh, it's on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. oh, okay. it's on page twenty. Page twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> well, already did. Page twenty three. The range, the range um, is actually on the box. Right. right. So, but my question is, looking at the picture, so the butterfly f effect is an insertion and a clitoral stimulation. Correct. It's clitoral, and it's nice. just that's why it's short. So, if you notice when you see a short oh. one and it has a short bend, that's because it's curved uh -huh. to hit you right at that G spot because it's only right. two inches in. Right. Yeah, not 12 and 9. Right. Yeah, see, I, I did a little research on that. I feel like only a couple you know, inches in. Yeah, right. it is. So, do you know that the yeah. vagina ain't even 12 inches long? Like, yeah, so. Well, I don't know. I just it's not, but it can, it's you know, not. It can take so, different sizes, though. Yeah. <laughs> no. It, After so many inches, I'm going to need you to chill out. Yeah. <laughs> like, so then that's when you would hey, get a grip. Okay. Right. Get yeah. a grip and see the get a grip as a sleeve. So it'll take care of the rest of the inches that can't go in. Oh. oh. It goes with those new, it's new memes out when women be like, the smaller they be like, yeah. 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 Right. Size, I've seen those memes. Size yeah. matters, yeah. but, um. Yeah, yeah. Now but, um. What you're doing with. Motion and ocean has always been important. Right. I right. agree. Right. I agree. Okay. You don't so, tippy toe. we've talked about the, the vajayjay, -jay, <laughs> the vagina, and, you know. So, what are they doing anal? In here, so we do. Got, you just passed. I pass, okay. Oh, that's yeah. what that is. Mm -hmm. So that's. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering why you was so sharp. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anytime now we're gonna tell you this disclaimer too. Do right. not put anything in your anus that does not have a stopper. Right. If it doesn't have a stopper, a breakout point, you know, so that it makes sure that it does not go all the way in, your anus has a sphincter muscle and it can suck things yeah. in. Right. So, so this fist base does ha come with a bullet. So you can use that. that uh, put the bullet in your ass. No. <laughs> 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 this bullet right here goes inside the fist base. Oh. Or you can take it out of the fifth base because it's not going to be exposed. Right. And you can use that for a clitoral toy. Okay. Um, okay. So now I see... That this anal, what, what, what was it called again? This one is fifth base. Fifth base has this ring, like so to speak, here on it. So, nah, the, nah, what is, that. I mean, what, it, what, it, what is, is that for you to hold? Oh, that's for you to hold. Oh, that's for you to hold. I'm stressed. I'm so 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 stressed. Unless he did that one in there. But anyway, I got you now. Well, you Which know is what? Possible. That's possible. That sounds possible. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, but, uh, no. Not I mean, right I mean, that's not good. Okay. Andre so, is stressed too. <laughs> so, we both stress right. together. Okay. You okay. Got me on so, that. I'm going to the store or looking online, and we'll give out, you know, your website at the end and everything like that if you choose to. Absolutely. So, how do me and my lady look to see what would you recommend for us like we just started now we just experiment with them we don't really know what is something that's recommended to is it clitoris is one that penetrates or what do you recommend for us to start with is it something like so or what, what do we start with what do you recommend or what I mean, would you recommend i will first let y'all have the conversation of what you want me to try right mm -hmm. i mean that's because I mean, if you're not into constriction rings um some people can't do these vibrating constriction rings because they're already sensitive. Right. And you put some vibration with it. Now we got a short, a short. Evening. <laughs> it's it's already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This one will make it a short evening. I'm trying to tell you. This. You trying to? Oh, but go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just saying, but that so. it really depends on what it is that you're needing. You know, in y'all's experience, right? Mm -hmm. So if you say, well, I don't want anything. That looks like a penis. Well, definitely do, do not get Dr. D. It's not a vibrating toy. That's our only dildo in the line. Okay. Um, but, you know, we have, like, open and act. That one is another one that is not phallic shaped. It is, like, you know, something that's a massage. You can like, you know, right. massage. Like we tell people, you know, let them think he massaging. He going to be like, I'm tempted to try to do 
Yeah, let me see what I'm gonna do with yeah. this. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So and she'll be doing this right on right here, over right on up. Yeah. Blossom yeah. my little flower. Okay. And okay. so it's just you you see how? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. Yeah. So, she said, "Woo, right, right, right." But you notice you can't hear that. You can't. Yeah. Oh, you have it on. It's what makes it so dangerous. I and I like the fact that oh, you yeah. can't hear it. Oh yeah. That comes. It's got out. multiple yeah. speeds too. That's our quiet. Oh, it's it's <laughs> got a lot of speeds. <laughs> <laughs> That's our quiet motor line. Right. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of speeds so, on this one. Yeah. She has it on. You can't even hear. Right. Um. So that's gonna uh be the first part of your conversation. What do you want to? Um, just like when it comes to remote, some people want to be able to get that element of surprise. Right. Because mm -hmm. we do have a, a couple of remote control tours. And we have one that even looks like a Fitbit. Mm. You know, that way nobody's none the wiser. Right, right. I'm getting my steps in. You and, know what I'm saying? Right. And, and see, a while ago, when you were saying about the phone and how people could hack it in, now <laughs> I need somebody to hack in and then they pleasing my woman without me controlling the deal right. or whatever. So, so that's what I'm saying, you know. Yeah. Imagine everything. that phone call though. Oh <laughs> man, I would be hot in the 45. <laughs> what? Imagine that phone call. Are you getting satisfied? <laughs> what? Right. Wait, she didn't know shit ever. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, baby, I just got a good one. <laughs> she didn't know what it was. Yeah, well she didn't know so I can't blame her. But hopefully, oh we'll, my God. hopefully that type of thing will so be imagine, perfected imagine. and maybe that'll be something that they you know drop in our line right. in the future. See, that's what we like. We like suggestions. Right. And mm -hmm. we can forward that to our company and we can say, Hey, that's what they want. Right. They want something that they can control. Let's right. get that wrapped up, let's get the right. technology. But we don't have that technology right. at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it, it could be working yeah. and they could be in the works. But we do have a lot of stuff that, you know, is interactive. Um, and then some couples, they want to introduce, um, that we have a small kit that's introducing BDSM. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be like <clears throat> tie me ups, you know, seduction. Some people have right. handcuffs. Handcuffs. Oh, well, but our handcuffs are not like handcuffs. They're made of silicone mm -hmm. because you want to feel, we want to reduce the pain. Right, mm -hmm. right. We want that pleasure there. Oh. Right. So our, still, our handcuffs are silicone. Right. And you don't need a key, so you can't get locked in. Dang well, it. I mean, you're, you're locked she in. Like she might want to be locked in over here. You're locked in. Yeah. But you can get out, right. you know, if you need to. Right. We have the timey up tape that it only sticks to itself. So, you know, we have a lot of stuff. So you just have to explore, right. communicate what you want what to she try. Wants. So just that'll be the thing, yeah. too. With the communication, she yeah. comes in, she finds out, but she don't even really know because she's one of that 85% that you said whatever earlier, I believe, that haven't never even experienced orgasm. So when she touch one of these, she gonna find it. I'm telling you right now, guys. All you guys out there that's looking at this and listening, go to the store or either go online. We'll give out the call info. Me. Like call her, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm telling you, you gonna get right. It's gonna change your relationship, and especially I keep going back to this. <laughs> one right there. I know about this damn thing, and guys. I'm telling y'all. You know, don't, don't be looking at it. Don't be looking at it. I ain't gonna fit on that. You so high. It's gonna be. If you don't know lie, I want to see a picture. Exactly. Right. Right. So it's gonna be. Oh, oh, oh. So. <laughs> Hit my DM. Get off into pleasing and satisfying your partner without just her, without you just coming in, as you were saying earlier, banging, banging, and not really, she's not getting anything out of it. And learn to please her and satisfy her first. Mm -hmm. Because you already know the guy's usually going to get his almost all the time. But if you go head on and satisfy her and please her and get her ready and, and that thing blow up like a volcano in Hawaii, and then you can go and go off in there. Then you can go and go in there and probably go and get My the coffee going on. I'm going to I mean, I make it work. Yeah, you got that sure. just like me. I promise to some. some it's called Just Like Me. That was one of the ones you had in here, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. yeah that's going to surprise you. So, guys, I'm telling y'all, don't be so. It's a new day and a new time and a new age. Quit thinking you up in there, all up in the pussy, and, mm -hmm. and doing it like you, you're doing and you don't know what you're doing because you got a, a 12 inch horse or whatever. And get with this whip, this cotton candy and watermelon. No, oh, they ain't Yeah, it comes in watermelon. Comes in watermelon, <laughs> in case some of you like with no seeds. You like uh, donuts. We donuts. Donut flavor. All flavor. So this donuts. is a loop, and this is something you can put on, because I heard you say one of them was warming, right? That one is warming. This one is warming, mm -hmm. so he can't go down there and eat this. Okay, because it's cotton candy. You can eat, so you gotta gotta eat you all, all of it. All of it. <laughs> Matter of fact, taste all the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. We have 
have a lot of things that have a lot of flavors. Mm -hmm. that when when she leaves our parties, oh. she gonna be flavored right. up. She gonna be she all the way stimulated. So if you if you don't know what to get her, just hit me up and get her a gift certificate. And say, right. here, go shopping, right? right? Right, So you go ahead and put her some money on the gift certificate with me. Right. And then she can come have a party with me. Yeah. Parties are free. Mm -hmm. Absolutely free to have a party with me. All right. They actually gain from my parties when they are hostess because they get 10% of the party set. Right. So okay. that y'all build a, you know, build your wish list together. Right. You say, hey, look, we got... Go on this website, find a little list, and say, okay, now we want to get some of these things. Go ahead, book your party, mm -hmm. and then you're going to get 10% of the party sales, and then they help y'all get y'all wish list covered a little right. lower, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you invite all your freaky friends. Right. Well, those what? are the uh, freaky well, ones. Well, the the yeah. extra freaky right. ones. <laughs> so I just also just in my little notes of researching, talking about the business part of it, mm -hmm. and this is, again, from Google. It may not be accurate. It may not be accurate. I don't know, but I'm going to read it anyway. All right. And it just said, uh, after more than 30 years, Pure Romance continues to be trusted with over $2 billion in worldwide sales. During so, COVID, we done hit over four, I think. Billion would it be. Would it be. And I can understand why, because they're sitting at home. Mm -hmm. And hopefully some of them would have invited their partner into that. During COVID, <laughs> the team that I'm on, the team that I'm on, we hit 1.2 million. Right. And that's just our team. In the COVID. That's why they got on them COVID days. Yeah, I, I believe that. <laughs> and relationships had to be, you know, people were at home a lot with their partner, and they didn't know if they liked them that much or not. Right. So they had to figure right. out something to do. Something. Right, right. right. Okay. I'm just kidding. Then, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's true. <laughs> Right. She telling the truth. So, so they like you. They like you. Right. Again, uh, my notes here the Pure Romance has over 30,000 active consultants located in the United States, South Africa, Canada, Puerto Rico, New Zealand, Australia, and a couple of other ones. And it's also saying that the national director makes over $23,000 per month. I can believe more than that, possibly. Yeah, this is what it's saying, like over. So, in other words, mm. You've been in about three years, so it's some other people you know with the, the chain, the directors, or whatever else. So it has an opportunity, a chance to make some pretty good income, so to speak. And whatever. it's not what people think. Right. This is not one of those companies where you don't make money if they don't bump you up. Yeah. This is a company just like any real business out here with a brick and mortar. When I say real, not that this is a real business. Right. Um, it's what you put into it. Mm -hmm. I can do this part time. I can do this full time. I can do this when I. Is how I want to schedule it. Right. Um, I can do a social selling where I don't carry products on hand. I'm a fully stocked uh, consultant. Right. So when you contact me, you're going to most of the time have a shorter wait time because I keep inventory on hand. Matter of right. fact, if y'all need anything, I got it in. Amen. I got to go in. She got to go in. Hey, listen. So, I mean, I'm, I'm ready. Every consultant doesn't carry inventory. Right. But I like to keep my inventory on hand so that when me, mm -hmm. with me, when they that leave my sense. party, most of the time they have all of their products. If yeah. not, I can get it to you within seven days. Yeah. Um, but this is a good business for anybody who wants to start out. Um, I've done other mm -hmm. uh, direct sale companies. This one spoke to me more so because of the female impact. Right. Um, we have a lot of conversations with people who have sexual trauma, who have mm -hmm. um, just, they don't know, you know, like I party with one lady, she was like almost 70 something, and she said she wished she would have came to more of these than Tupperware right. or something, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because she learned something. Mm -hmm. Even in her older age, she still was learning about her own body. Right. Um, I've actually had a physician contact me. He hadn't chosen a specialty yet, but even they learn. We right. do have a, um, a medical <coughs> line that has like vaginal dilators and things of that nature too, a professional line. So that way physicians can even implement products to their, uh, you know, customers there. So sometimes people overlook pure romance because as soon as they hear the word pure romance, they clutch them pearls. Right. They automatically right. They're like, think oh, sex. No, right. It's sex. It's automatically But we have sex. a larger line, and actually the the toy part of our um, line is like only 20% of our sales. Mm. Really? Our largest part is our um, bath and body products. Mm. Okay. 
Yeah. So everybody yeah. takes a bath, right? Right. Mm-hmm. They shower. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They bathe. They shower. We have products they like shave. This, this summertime is coming. Yeah. We have products that help, you know, keep them boys cool. Right, right. And it's for women mm-hmm. to put between them thighs. They love to hug to each other. Right. And mm-hmm. all the other places. I mean, we have products for everything. We have um, one of our other good ones like uh, Miracle Oil. And it's good for any kind of scrape, burn, and things like that. So, I mean, we have a larger line than just our toys. Right. I almost thought you were going to say Miracle Whip. <laughs> See, wait a minute. Well, no. <laughs> Let me ask you this, though. We do have whips. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this, though. Since we already know that men can't attend this, but do you think that at some point it would be so valuable to have a, a party for men to educate the men on how to use these on a on a Sex on a partner, I don't want to just say female or whatever, but right. but just on a partner to, I mean, don't you think it may be beneficial to do that one day? Or So we can sometimes do what's called an open house, um, basically like how you're doing now, you're picking them up. I can't demonstrate them right. to you because you're a male, right. um, but you can pick it up, ask me questions about it. But when we do a party, we party with women to keep them safe. Right. Um, and we also, you know, we, we educate them in a way that if you want your partner to find out more and she's a female or identify as a female, right. then she can attend our parties. They have to be 18 years and older. And then we just can't have males on the pro, um, on the premises and children okay. when we're doing the actual demonstration. After we do the demo, if they got to come home or whatever, right. then they can come home. Now we, right. Now, I just got a question on this demo. Who's on the table for the demo? There's not a person. Oh, okay. Well, I ain't know. <laughs> I was wondering that what too. What you put your hand up for? You on the table for the demo? What's you volunteering? Oh, wow. Well, the only but time no. we may so, sometimes. <laughs> you may sometimes. We may sometimes allow the the customer, like when we have the door swing. Or okay. we have the sexy spreader. Y'all like, have a door swing? Absolutely. And a sexy spreader? Yes. Sexy spreader, y'all will have fun with the sexy spreader. Okay. I, I, I tell people, especially your partner with that likes football, they would like sex spread. Right. So that's how I look at it. Right. But um, door swing, yes. So the door, door swing, swing is not for lazy people. Right. That's what I did want to clarify. Right. Because it does. That's an act. You can use the door swing to work out. If right. You can right. turn your watch on cardio. Yes. Oh, yeah? For door swing. For door swing. Those um, so it sounds like yeah. someone's hanging over the door and mm-hmm. she's well, swinging. I, I mean, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, me how this works. Look, just to make it fun okay. and funny. Like when you got toys, we got swings. You had toys and swings when you were a little kid. Now right. you got a toy and a swing for when you were a little kid. Yes. So, now at least ours, we can put it away. Nobody has to know what it is. You know, you put it up, you put it back out. Make sure that you're using a nice, sturdy door. Right. You know, typically, I ain't going to lie, the front door is a really good door, but, I mean, you can't you sometimes be at your front door. Right, 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 right. But that's a really secure door. But you right. can go to a hotel I was just and take, take the yeah. door swing with you. Yes, it oh, is. Right, well. Hotel doors are really I'm good I'm just doors. saying, they, they're they very secure. And okay, I, okay. Our door swing does hold up to 300 pounds. Okay. So don't be scared. Right. Get up in there. And it can take you from different levels. So, like, um, if you like to... Um, perform uh, cunnilingus and she's sitting in the swing and you want to raise her up, you can raise her up and you can stand. Um, well, there's a lot of positions. Yeah. She can do a Superman. She can be all kind of things. Right. It's, it's, right. it's very active. Right. It now, is. I, I've seen one, uh, it, oh, it probably, I don't know, about a couple of months ago or longer, it come across in my feed. And I talked about this in my last session and it looked like it went behind her neck and held her knees up. So, you, and then that'd be a good one right there also to use the, one of these on. And the swing, now that I think about it. So, while she's in that swing, you can go and have some fun with it and be yeah. creative. And, okay. That's what I'm saying. So, you're talking about it. I'm, stre- I'm stressed again because I'm a visual person, okay? okay? And so, for you to throw something behind my neck and hold my legs up, I have to be able to visualize this. Sex right. spreader okay. help you with that. And he says the sex and spreader goes behind her neck and to her ankles. So oh, when she might not be able to hold her legs up, I mean, sometimes it's hard to hold your legs. Right, yeah, that's what I, and that's my point. When you're tired of holding your legs and he don't want to hold the legs, and you didn't already didn't went to work, and she didn't already had that two or three of them with one of these right here, 
and you going in for the kill, so to speak. Mm -hmm. She she, she gonna be over like seven eleven. Going level. in for the kill. She yeah. gonna be over like yeah. seven eleven yeah. because you Crazy. she even got hers and she like here, baby, just take whatever you want, shit. I'm good. I hit it like a jack. She is. She in it. And <laughs> Yeah. And now he's going to pound town. Yeah, yeah. 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 so now he's getting hooked if he bucks. Yeah. 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 I'm going to tell you, though, one that I would I don't mind. want to be classified as lazy, no. but I don't want to work sure so hard. I'm sure you're not classified. But at yeah, the same time, I don't time, want to be lazy. But at the same time, that. how they don't like control, that. you know, at the same time, how they like control, yes. with the sex is brother, there's positions that you can use that is almost like a saddle. So, oh. so it comes with directions and <laughs> pictures and stuff. I can send you a video. Amen. Oh, watch it. Let it. Let okay. it. See? So... Well, all righty then. So, well, I tell you too. I didn't learned up something, picked up something. Yes. But my one of my favorite ones, I think. Well, I probably would have several favorites because I've had several. But I like one of the yeah, ones with the. the <laughs> 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 Man, that was just if I, you if you just look at Josh's face, that's all I need. Right? He ain't said nothing much. Yeah. But I'll just tell you though. I would just like to have one to where with the remote and me and my lady is out somewhere and I know that it's pressed firmly against that man in the boat and mm. I just come like to hit his hit him yeah. time to time. That's what like to do. That shit has got to be on. Cause because yes. a lot of times it's, it's it just, just like um, when people like to. That it so it um, excites you to excite her. Yes. And that is a connection. Yes. yes. I would love That's to work that and just have her over there in a seat. Just Can you imagine using that while you ballroom? Uh -oh. Oh, while you ballroom oh, dancing? Oh, oh, yeah. Lord, Lord, ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, no. Somebody ain't gonna lose some steps. <laughs> yeah. This gonna be some steps. But, and I oh, yeah, already had a problem with the counts, too. <laughs> <laughs> that, now, you do line dancing. Yes. So go ahead. Well, I already got a problem with the counts. Yeah. She already yeah. had yeah. count down, and then you hit that mm -hmm. down, and then she ain't going to be remembering them steps right then. So, yeah. What we want to do is just remind, I, I, I keep, you hear me say it over and over about the guys, because I know a lot of guys are not into it, and they're insecure about it, whatever, but guys, I mean, try this out with your partner. Find out, y'all have that conversation. See what it is she likes, and or if you haven't, and like shit, while go, make sure you use some lube on it. And I think some ladies are sensitive to different types of lube, so you want to recommend some all water. Majority of ours are pH balanced just for us. Just for, okay. That's exactly what we specialize in. So right, right. So that way she it won't give her a yeast infection or, or or whatever or something like that. It's nice and smooth, and that's what it's for. So guys, make sure you guys go out there and learn to satisfy your partner to. You know, experiment in different things, and I keep going back to this motherfucker's <laughs> idea. When she said turn it upside down, you knew what I was talking about, dude. On that vein, oh my god, that's his favorite. I like that one. You know, and then this one is something different too. I mean, but the only thing about it, you, you feel it vibrating in your hand, but I guess you put some lube on this also. You could, uh, I mean, but this is mostly you were saying for that ain't gonna be inserted. So right, right. So did that yeah, this take, kind of insert? Did that like take the place of the? No, we still have, still have the heart and heart? heart massages. Oh, I love those. The, oh, okay, okay, so the heart is, is if yeah, you got some you tense muscles. Right. right. And they, you know, you pop it, it firms up, it warms up. Yeah. And you, it goes to 104 it's degrees. It's good. And yeah. it's going to give you a nice massage, and it's reusable. So when you mm -hmm. crack that, it's just like those, kind of like those warm pocket warmers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when you crack the disc in it, you'll see it crystallizing, mm -hmm. and you're going to see it warming up. You know, it's going to start warming up. So we have the heartthrob, which has a, a bullet that's inserted into the palm. Right. So that, that way, when you're doing a massage, it's a vibrating massage. So that's what I'm saying. We have a lot of stuff where you can introduce vibration right, and right. massage and things right. of that nature. It doesn't have to be what you visualize right. as this big penis-shaped right. uh Toy all the time. Exactly. Majority of our toys are not. I mean, but that is a great shape. visualization. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, yeah. it's warm. <laughs> and a lot of sensations, warming is pretty mm -hmm. to get those different sensations. Uh, we have a product like Rev that's a masturbating 
uh, lubricant for men. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to give you that mentholated feeling. Mm -hmm. Just imagine um, kind of mintiest type feeling. While he's choking that chicken, he, it right. can be feeling minty. He can, he can feel all that, that stimulation. Mm -hmm. Right, because, right. And then so if she blows. From a different spot. Right. They, if she blows. There you go. If, if she, she blows, it's going to change. Uh, Wait a minute. It's not. <laughs> The fire on me about blowing, are we talking about what she on the head with the good head? She or she been blowing out itself? She used great head. Or you talking head. about blowing great head? I always she, mess that up. It's great, great head. head. Yeah, we're going to be so great. So when we talking about blowing, what are we talking about? Something I'm just saying, think? it's just like that mentholated feeling. So it's a maturation cream. But you know how, okay, you have the so sensation. When you use the sensation, you're going to see it stimulates. Okay. When you blow, you're going to feel that kind oh, of cooling. Okay. And, mm -hmm. I'm going to pause it. Is that the GPS? No, GPS is something different. GPS is to help him hit that G spot. Okay. Kind of like we say, give him directions. That makes a lot of sense, right, right, GPS. Right. Yes. Right. Help oh, him hit the G spot. Okay, okay. For some of you that don't know where it's at, that helps to plump the G spot so that you can't miss it. Okay. Oh. Well, oh. we've been going for just about a little bit, almost an hour. I like to try not to run them uh, too much past the hour. I've heard people watch uh, some of my other podcasts. They say, man, you left so much meat on the bone. Well, I don't want to overkill and go for two hours or whatever, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I think we covered some pretty good stuff right here, and, and uh, I definitely know we have and I have. You got so. your notes? Yeah, I do. I got a lot. <laughs> yeah, Josh didn't take care of because <laughs> the thing about it is you never know what you're going to get here right. on this don't. talk. Because none of you knew what questions I had. We, I mean, we're just going to feed on one another, and it's uncut and unedited. So that's why I asked everybody to subscribe because you just never know what you're going to get. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go around the room, and we're going to have some closing um, arguments. No. <laughs> we're going to have, we're gonna have everybody give a chance to close. I'm going to let you go last. So, uh, guys, if you want to leave your social media, how someone can follow you mm -mm. or whatever, uh, Snapchat, tweet, track, mm -mm. track, track, track uh, <laughs> tap back, Instagram, or whatever, it now will be the time to do it. So, Ms. Brown, what you like to go ahead on with uh, everything? Well, you know, I just want to thank you for inviting me out. Um, just look for me on Future Wizzo Podcast. No social media. Yes. My bad. All right, all right, all right. What we got there, there, there? Um, I just want to say thank you for having me. It's always an honor. And um, you guys can find me online at After Real Truth. You can just Google After Real Truth. You can find me. At, that's my clothing, my clothing brand. And it's definitely... Um, it was an amazing episode, and I just want to say that I think that men should really take more time to find pleasure and pleasure in their women and taking their time to really learn their woman's body. You know what I'm saying? It's very important because her pleasure can be a change in your life, definitely. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, and I want to thank you. You know, I reached out to you, but I really want to thank you for having me um, because this is a subject that a lot of people don't want to have a conversation exactly. about. Mm -hmm. And it does intimidate a lot of men. Um, some women have never used a toy. Um, they've never experienced an orgasm. So this is going to help build those happier relationships. That's what we want to do is we want to make um, relationships last a little bit, especially to take away the, the anguish from the sexual part of it. we got a lot of other parts of the world that we got to work on. But mm -hmm. at least we can get the pleasure part right. right, right? right, right. So even if you want to have your lady reach out to me, and say, hey, go find out some things. Then they can always take the catalog home and go over with a you know, partner and stuff like that. Right. But most of all, I want you to have that conversation. So that, that way, you know you're pleasing her, she's pleasing you. Because it's the same thing. We might think we know what we're doing with you. But it's just the thing that we do our best to introduce pleasure right, right. into the bedroom. Um, and um, because... What people don't know is mental health and sexual health goes hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know. Okay, so I got a question before we close. So you said that you can't have a party for couples, but an open house you can't demonstrate, but you can answer questions. Right. It's, I can bring everything just like what and put it on the table, and you can ask me about it. And couples can ask you questions. Absolutely. Okay. It's just done differently. Yeah. But it still works though. It gets them in the same place at the right. same time. Yeah, we just to mostly be able to ask questions. You know, mm -hmm. it's just it's right. Absolutely just falls into different yeah. lanes right. yeah. when we do a demonstration. Okay. So it's kinda like when we do the open house, 
We don't do that many open house because mm -hmm. we don't really even get that uh, request that much. Mm -hmm. Most women, they want that moment. They don't, right. you know, like I said, they, they have all the mommy time. The, I got to be at work. I got to do all these things. That's one time that they get to be, you know, take that hat off and just relax right. and be free and safe in their mm -hmm. own environment. So that's the reason why we, we focus on that aspect. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't hear that many. Like you, you just might see me at a vendor event. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have... Especially a certain type of family friendly, I don't yeah. put right. toys. You won't right. see not any exactly. toys out. Right. Um, you might exactly. see the gloves laying out, but right. you won't see the toys out. Okay. Yeah, is there anything you'd like for information to leave for anyone to follow you or how they can find you or anything like that? Absolutely. So you all can, if you want to connect with me on Facebook, I'm Andrea Cato Moore. Um, you can always check out my website at www.puromancequeen.com. And I'm, I'm open to conversations, and you can call me, text me at 254-410-3731. I do travel for the party, so it doesn't have to be just directly local. And we do virtual parties as well if you're too far away. Or if you want to fly your girl out, we can do that. We can do that. All right. Well, that'll work. I mean, I'm going to come back right here and just say that I am so thankful, and I appreciate every one of you guys coming on the show Josh, I have you. This is your second time, I believe, being on the show. I yep. really appreciate you. Thank you for the love and support. And the ladies, I mean, I struggle getting ladies on my show with different topics. So I really appreciate both of you guys coming on, both of you ladies coming on. You reached out to me, asked me to have this. This wasn't even one of my topics. You asked me about it, boom, and we made it happen. So that's why I say to anyone who's watching, if you have a topic or something you'd like to discuss, reach out to me, and uh, I'll see about getting a panel together or... I just it'll just be you and I, but I like to always have a female on the show or whatever to kind of just be something a little bit different about it going on. So I really love appreciate you guys appreciate the support, and we'll be having you guys on again hopefully sometime. Anyhow, with no other further to say than that to do, y'all see this is live not live, but it's uncut. I just stumbled over all them damn words. I'm still stuck over that thing. Still stuck right over that right there. Guys, y'all better come on out and get with them. Please shit. get I'm it. Go get it. Okay. Go get it. Okay. Have some fun. Go have get some it. fun with your female partner or your other partner. And uh, anyway, with all that being said and done, this your boy Paul Wizzo on Wizzo Talk. See, I didn't say that the last time, but I said it this time. <laughs> How at your boy. And we still alive until they come in here and cut that. So that's what's up. Really appreciate you guys coming on. And make sure y'all get all your goodies back yes, together. Most oh, yeah. definitely. We get that cut. And I think that